This is chapter 14 of Beyond Exile. Um, in the last uh, part, Frank um, met up with his friend uh, Illich, and um, yeah, this is the first indication. I Illich, given the three names of Lenin from his father, and was taken a new name, uh, Carlos, to indicate that this may well be Carlos the Jackal. He, uh, when the two split up at the end of the last chapter, Illich uh, was off to Brussels, and now Frank is in Milan, and this is the first time that he is on his own uh, outside of the U.S. in the story. That, took, that started in uh, Northern California and stretched across the East Coast on a plane to London and then another plane to Italy, and Frank is on his own in Milan. The chapter is called Letizia. As we begin, um, we see Paulo in the airport as a char character to Frank. You want a ride? No, I'll wait for a cab. No thanks, I have a ride. No, I'll wait for a cab. To Frank. Cab's not come. You want a ride? And that's okay, I'll wait. Can you take me to Milan for cheap? I'm going to Milan. Let's try this one. To Frank. Yes, yeah, very cheap. You come. Grazie. Frank gets into Paulo's car. And Milan's a blur of golden Madonnas, winking through scaffolding. Smog etched into pink marble palaces. Paulo lugging his fiat to save gas. The hospitality of Riverside and Santa Cruz, heavily accented by Milanese concerns. His jacket's too blue for spring. He should leave a bite on his plate. He needs a haircut to teach him. This takes us to scene number 109, the Central Milan Business District. And if we look at our compass points, you see that they are all lit up. And we are in the center of Milan, and we can go many different directions here. So let's, try, let's start at 12 o'clock and work our way around and see what happens. We go north to scene number 10. It takes us to the Galleria. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuel. Famous shopping area. And Frank sees an Italian suit clothing. And it says uh, his jacket's too blue for spring. So he looks at the suit, says nice lines. He takes a suit, assuming he purchases that suit, of course. Frank gets new clothes. Um, so we can go back to the center. Now we can try, let's try one o'clock or this one, northeast. The restaurant Brera. And uh, nothing there. Uh, let's go back center. And there's Paulo again, his uh, ride. Let's talk to him some more. Paulo is dating Rita, the slim daughter of the Jolly Thai Empire. Okay, Paulo disappears. Let's try... Um... Okay, now Paulo has gone to the restaurant and Frank's followed him. Let's see. And there's Rita, which would be Paulo's girl. Let's look at her. And one night after pizza in Brera, Frank meets her friend Letizia. Let's look at her. She's a plump redhead with a toto jaw and gold flecked emerald eyes. See her wrinkle her nose. See her light another Marlboro. So with this, at that moment, Frank and Letizia are together in the inventory and the other two the other couples. Uh, gone away. So we're the observer and we're watching this couple and because they're inventory that means they're going to be moving around. So let's um, let's go back and let's go to the third uh, the, you know the three o'clock one. Barbier, the local barber shop. Well Frank needs a haircut we heard but not at this time. There's no barber there. Corso Porto Romano, scene 114. There's nothing to do here. Um, 
the, down to the south, the Berlitz Language Center. Scene 115. There's nothing there to do. Southwest. The chapel near Santa Maria del Grazi. And there's nothing there to do. Scene 8. The Sultry Piazza Cavour. And this is a uh, housing uh, lofts and such. And you see here we have Letitia's loft. So the couple is going back to her place. He's staying at her love nest near Piazza Cavour until she mentions warming up with other men. Well, that's wonderful. You're Frank. Can you look at her? Speak to her. And uh, she has nothing to say. So uh, I guess that was pretty much just a one a one night thing, apparently. There's no interaction with her, so well, let's see if Frank okay. let's see if we can get that haircut now. Ah. The barber's returned. He gets a haircut. He finds Corso Porto Romano. Which is the uh, the one in the bottom corner there, so let's go there. Just down here. Corso Porto Romano. He's learning the Berlitz method from a tall Prussian pretending to be a former Cambridge Don. And here's another woman, Angelica. Let's look at her. He's training with Angelica, a centerfold, strawberry blonde from Munich. Speak to her. She says nothing. Okay. All right, well, let's say something about the Berlitz. The, Ber the Berlitz method. Let's go down there. He's teaching English for $2 an hour. We can also use these arrows to go, instead of going back to the central district, we can go side by side. Napping between classes in a nearby chapel, then back addicted to Letizia. Alright, see if she's there and if she's up for anything. Walking cobblestone alleys to smoky lofts, slipping past the doorman to a kinky penthouse, never making it in the same place twice. He's tracing her facial scars with semen. See, he goes back. We haven't gone up here yet. The Cordon, the Cord Cardona railway station. Nothing happening there. Let's just go around. Nothing happening here. We already went to the barber shop. Let's go back. Let's see this Angelica girl now. Let's go back and forth between these two girls. He's living on cappuccino and brioche when Angelica invites him to lunch. All right, so we know where the food place is. Let's go to the lunch place restaurant. And there's Angelica for lunch. And when you look at her, you see something. But she presents an envelope. Look at him. Yeah, this can't be good. Okay, let's take the envelope. And puts a cream envelope on his plate. In his manic and thoughtless state, everything's magnified. He looks at her. He sees her big Bavarian breasts. He sees a big train ticket to Heidelberg. He sees a big escape from a big noose. Okay, so she's, this girl knows something that Frank, uh, she's uh, knows something about Frank and passes him some information in the book. Um, And a big train ticket, so let's go to the train station then. And now when we go there, there's a ticket office. Hmm, maybe there's a ticket in an envelope. Oh, okay, sure. All right, so let's take the envelope to the ticket office. And like that, Frank is on a train out of Italy, so. Angelica gave him an, uh, an envelope. That told him to get the hell out of the lawn, and that's what he did. That's what he did, and that takes is taken into Heidelberg, Germany. So that was it for Milan with Hank, and you see here, another chapter begins. So we're going to pause the game uh, right here uh, after chapter 14. You've been, thank you for watching. Uh, so these are the first 14 chapters of Beyond Exile.